Hello YouTube and welcome. In this video I would like to do with you the unboxing of this deck from the set Commander Anthology number 2. So I was able to get this one and this is Breed Brutality. So this is the deck that I was searching for and in 2016 I wasn't able to, to get it, so right now, finally, uh, I picked up one for my collection and for playing, of course. So, I'm going to show you what cards came in this deck. So, right now I'm going to open the deck, of course. And this is the our commander for this deck. So the Atraxa Praetor's voice in foiled. So for drops he has flying, vigilance, death touch and lifelink. Crazy. At the beginning of your end step proliferate, you choose any number of permanent and or players with counters on them, then give each another counter of a kind already there. And it is a 4 4. Fantastic. Here we have Ikra Shidilki the Usurper, 5 drops. He has Menace. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness, and he, she has a partner ability. You can have two commanders if both are partner, and it is a three-seven. Great image, this one. Ishai Ujutai, Dragon Speaker. For drops, he has flying. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, put a plus one plus one counter on Ishai. Ujutai, Dragon Speaker. He has a partner ability also. You can have two commanders if both have partner, partner in the name. And it is a 1-1. One, one. So this one with Ika can be chosen to be our commander, both of them. Rayhan, the last of Abzan, three drops. Rayhan, last of the Abzan, enters in the battlefield with three plus one plus one counters on it. Whenever a creature you control dies or is put in the command zone, if it had one or more plus one plus one counter on it, you may put that many plus one plus one counter on target creature. And it is a zero zero. And also this one is has the partner ability. So we already have three cards that allow us to, to mix them, to choose two two of them to be the commander. Now we have Abzan Falconer, three with drops he has outlast for one plane so for a plane tap it put a plus one plus one counter on this creature outlast only as a sorcery each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it has flying and it is a two three now we have the basic land some planes Five of the five of them. Islands. Four of them. The swamps. Five of them. And forests. Seven of them. Continuous with our deck. Here we have Brave Descent, two drops, 
creatures you control have vigilance. Each creatures you control can block an additional creature each combat. Elite Scale Guard, 5 drops. When Elite Sky Guard enters the battlefield, Boostler 2. Choose a creature with at least the least stagnant amount the creatures you control and put a 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. Whenever a creature you control with plus 1 plus 1 counters on it attacks, tap target creature defending player controls. And it is a 2 3. Horse of Advocist, 3 drops. At the beginning of your unkeep, each player may put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on a creature they control. If a player does if a player does creatures that player controls can't attack you or a planeswalker you control until the next turn. And it is a 1-4. Is Daneful, Stroke, 2 drops, counter target spell with converted mana cost 4 or greater. Grip of Parasis, 3 drops, gain control of target equipment, then create a 0-0 black germ creature token and attack it, attach it, that equipment to it. Interesting card, this one. Desert Gambling, 4 drops. The blue mana can be paid with either uh, uh, an island or two life. Draw two cards, then proliferate. Drumming Bird, 2 drops. Flying. Whenever deals combat damage to a player, proliferate. And it is a 1-1. One, one. Treasure Cruise, 8 drops. He has Delve. Each card you exile from your graveyard while casting this spell pays for 1 colorist. Draw 3 cards. Faster Creep, 2 drops. Faster Creep enters in the battlefield with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. For 2, remove a plus 1 plus 1 counter from Faster Creep. All other creatures get minus one, minus one until the end of the turn, and it is a zero, zero. Inspiring Call, three drops. Draw a card for each creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Those creatures gain indestructibility until the end of the turn. Interesting card this time. Solidarity of Heroes, two drops. He has Strife, this spell costs uncolorous and a forest more to cast for each target beyond the first choose any number of target creatures double the number of plus one plus one counters on each of them nice card this one dust guard captain three drops he has outlast for one forest for one forest tap it put a plus one plus one counter on this creature outlast only as a sorcery, each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it has trample and it is a two three. Ancient excavation for drops, draw cards equal to the number of cards in your hand, then discard the card for each card draw this way. Basic land cycle for two colors. So discard this card, search your library for a basic card. Land card, reveal it and put it in your hand and shuffle your library. Bread from the hunt, three drops. Whenever a creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. Nice card, this one. Enduring Scale Lord, six drops, flying. Whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on another creature you control, you may put a plus one plus one counter on, on Enduring Scale Lord. And it is a 4 4. Crazy card, this one. Juniper Order Ranger, 5 drops. 
whenever another creature enters in the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on that creature and that plus one plus one counter on Juniper or the Ranger and it is a 2-4. Migratory root, five drops, create four one one white birds creature tokens with flying. It has a basic land cycling for two. Katar's Crusade, five drops. Whenever a creature enters in the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. And this should be a great, great, great card. Citadel Siege, 4 drops, a Citadel Siege enters in the battlefield, choose cans or dragons, so if you choose cans, at the beginning of a combat of in, on your turn, put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on target creature you control, if you choose dragons at the beginning of a combat, on each opponent's turn, tap target creature that players control, hmm, very nasty this one. Close to the Soul Binders, 4 drops. Close to the Soul Binders enters in the battlefield with a X plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, where X is the number of other creatures on the battlefield. Plus 3, remove a plus 1 plus 1 counter from Close to the Soul Binders. Create a 1 1 1 white spe spirit creature token with flying, and it is a 0 0. Very interesting card, this one. Dualist's Heritage, 3 drops. Whenever one or more creatures attack, you may have target attacking creature gain double strike until the end of the turn. Nice. Reveil Arc, 5 drops. He has flying. When leaves the battlefield, return up to 2 target creature cards with power 2 or less from the graveyard to your battlefield. And he has Invoke for 6. You may cast this spell for its invoke cost. If you do, it sacrifices it when it enters in the battlefield, and it is a 4 3. Sublime Exhalation, 7 drops.
punish one counters on it, re return it to the battlefield under its owner control with a minus one minus one counters on it. Crystalline crawler for drops. He has converge. Crystalline crawler enters the battlefield with a one one plus one plus one counter on on it for each color of mana spent to cast it. Remove a plus one plus one counter from crystalline crawler. Add one mana of any color and tap it. Put a plus one plus one counter on crystalline crawler and it is a one one. Dark water catacombs. For a color tap it, he adds uh, an island and a swamp. Great land, this one. Exotic orchard. Tap it as one mana of any color that a land an opponent controls could produce. Murmuring Bosk. Tap it for a forest. As Murmuring Bosk enters the battlefield, you may reveal a three folk card from your hand. If you don't, Murmuring Bosk enters the battlefield. Tap it. And tap it for a plane or a swamp. Murmuring Bosk deals one damage to you. Sungrass Prairie. For a colorist tap it, it gives us a forest and a plane. Great card. Underground River. Tap it for a colorist or tap it for either an island or a swamp. Underground River deals one damage to you. Mortify. Three drops. Destroy target creature or enchantment. Putrify. Three drops. Destroy target artifact or creature. It can't be regenerated. Sylvan Reclamation, 5 drops. Exile up to 2 target artifacts and or enchantments. He has basic land cycling for 2. Command the Sphere, 3 drops. Tap it as 1 mana of any color to your in your commander color's identity. Sacrifice Command the Sphere, draw a card. Dark Steel Ingot, 3 drops. He has indestructibility. Tap it for one mana of any color. Fell War Stone, two drops. Tap it at one mana of any color that a land an opponent controls could produce. Go Gary Signet, two drops. For a color, tap it at the forest and the swamp. Continuing, Ors of Signet, two drops. For a color, tap it as a, a plane and a swamp. Simic Signet, two drops. For one, tap it, give us a forest and an island. The famous Slow Ring, tap it for two colors. Arcane Sanctum, Arcane Sanctum enters in the battlefield, tap it. Tap it as a plane, uh, an island or a swamp. Harsh Barrens, tap it for a, a colorist, and he has a basic cycling for one. Azorius Chancellor, Chancery, and enters in the battlefield, tap it. When Azorius Chancery enters in the battlefield, return a land you control to his honor hand. Tap it for a, a plane in an island. You, it is the command tower. Tap it as one mana of any color in your commander color identity. Dreadship Reef. Tap it for a colorist. For one, tap it. Put a star counter on Dreadship Reef. And for one, also remove X storage counters from Dreadship Reef. Add X mana in any combination of islands and swamps. The famous Involving Wilds. Tap it, sacrifice evolving wilds. Search, search your library for a land card. Basic land card. Put it in the battlefield. Tap it, then shuffle your library. Go Gary Rot Farm. Go Ga Gary Rot Farm enters in the battlefield. Tap it. When Go Gary Rot Farm enters in the battlefield, return a land you control to his honor hand. Tap it for a swamp and a forest. Opal Palace. Tap it for a colorist and for one, 
add one mana of any color of your commander's identity. If you spend this mana to cast uh, your commander, it enters in the battlefield with a number of additional plus one plus one counter on it equal to the number of times it's been cast from the command zone this game. Interesting. Opulent Palace enters in the battlefield. Tap it. Tap it for a, a swamp, a forest, or an island. Sunsteep Citadel. Tap it for a, an island. Sorry, a plain a swamp or a forest. He enters in the battlefield. Tap it. Seaside Citadel. Enters in the battlefield. Tap it. Tap it for a forest, plain, and an island. Temple of the False God. Great card, this one. Tap it for two colors. Activate this ability only if you control five of more lands. Terramorphic Expanse. Tap it. Sacrifice Terraformic Expanse. Search your library for a basic land card and put it in the battlefield. Tap it. Then shuffle your library. And could be. Yes, the rest is all the tokens that we need for this deck. So we have Mir, token artifact creature, 1-1. One, one. And we have one, two of them. Pentavit, token artifact creature with flying, 1-1. One, one. And we have three, four, five of them. Trix Levit, token artifact creature. He has flying and it is a 1-1. One, one. And we have six of them. Tuk Tuk do return it. Is a goblin golem. Tuk Tuk do return it. It's legendary and it is a five five. A worm. We ha he has death touch and it is a three three. We have two of them. This is a worm also, but with a life link, 3-3. Three, three. We have two of them. We have an emblem of Vereti. Whenever an artifact is put in your graveyard from the battlefield, we return the card to the battlefield at the beginning of your next end step. Great. And we have our experience uh, card that we use to to take count of the commander's experience. So this is what we get in this deck, the Dread Vitality. I hope you like it, you enjoy it. Until the next time, see you.